Now, Christians have been warned against the so-called false prophets and uh, have been urged to follow the Bible entirely. This was after the debate on social media on who is the true teacher or pastor and what should be followed as truth. I have seen, experienced, heard, and because I have Christ in me, I could tell for real that this is a true prophet from God. But I want you to know that as much as there are false prophets, there are also false teachers, false apostles, false, false, false. My work is not to look for the false. My work and my call calls me to look for Christ, preach Christ, witness for Christ. And when I meet you, I can know that Christ in me is relating with a Christ in you. The wisdom of how to actually identify a true prophet, the Jesus way. You know, um, that document in itself is so self-explanatory that uh, you find that there is a way the world has presented that assessment and there is a way Jesus presents it. So um, my takeaway is uh, you can only know the false by knowing the true. And uh, using the same example in that document, you realize that on average, people go to work and do business more times than they go to pray. Yet, you do not find the discussion of fake money. That is the first thing that makes this debate of false prophets suspect, especially among those that magnify it. You get where I'm coming from. So, um, ideally, people engage more in business, work, things that are monetary. You would expect the debate about fake money to be top, on the top, but it is not. And then something to do with God, and that is, that is the first indicator of uh, suspicion eh? in those circles, that those who propagate those things actually are the false prophets. There's no, we don't have a, a certain standard set out there that we shall place on you or litmus paper which will show us that this is correct or false or true. What tells us is Christ in us. Because Christ calls the prophet puts the message of God in the prophet. And the prophetic voice carries the testimony of Christ. And when you are born again, and you know the Lord Jesus, the moment you hear the message of the prophet, the presence of the prophet, you see the testimony and listen to the testimony of Christ. That tells us the truth about the prophet. Um, I don't think that... Uh just because many people doubt he's a true prophet is a relevant debate. All believers of Jesus Christ know that that Jesus they believe was also doubted. So the fact that Jesus was doubted did not make him false. And in my opinion, their debate is irrelevant. Getting down to him being a true prophet, a true prophet is seen by how God backs him.